All right, so today let's make some cornflakes. And it's surprisingly simple to make and really only just requires a few ingredients. But how did it taste? Well, they're great. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this recipe is essentially just a mixture of cornmeal and water with a few extras in there. I'm using about half a cup or about 90 grams of a coarse ground cornmeal here. But a fine ground should also work. All right, so to this cornmeal, we can also add some salt, which just kind of helps give a base to the flavor. Just a few shakes, not much. Now to this cornmeal, we're gonna also add some water. And specifically, I'm using about a half a cup of water. Now, if you want to optionally sweeten this a little bit, you can add a little sugar. Now, I don't like my cornflakes overly sweet, so I just added a little bit, about two teaspoons. And you probably should use granulated sugar if you have it, uh, but I used up all my granulated sugar in the white chocolate video, so I'm gonna be just using a little bit of powdered sugar, which I had laying around. Now, lastly, we need to add some oil, and this will help soften the cornflakes a little. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of vegetable oil to this and we're just gonna mix this all up and then we can move on to the next step which is to prepare a parchment lined baking tray. Now one little trick is if, you're, if you want your parchment paper to stick to the tray use a little cooking spray on the metal surface and then the parchment paper will stick a lot better. All right so just go ahead and pour the corn mixture onto the baking tray and try to get this evenly spread out as much as possible. Really take the time to spread this out evenly. If you don't have an even layer it won't cook properly and some parts will be overcooked and some will be under it just is a nightmare. So once you have a nice and even layer, go ahead and place this into a 250 degree Fahrenheit or a 120 degree Celsius oven. And if you have the option, turn on the convection. The goal here is we want to cook this at a low temperature for kind of a long period of time, roughly about one hour. And once it's done, carefully pull it out and let it cool down to room temperature. Now, after this is cooled down completely, that's pretty much it. Now, I know this looks pretty weird now, but all we really got to do now is just turn this into cereal. So to do this, just break up these kind of bigger pieces into cornflake sized pieces by hand. And we're just gonna collect this into a bowl. Now, one thing you wanna do is really just try to get, you know, even and uniform pieces. Another thing to note is that when, when breaking this up, they're gonna be a little bit jagged and not really have the same kind of uniform shape you may find out of a box. But that's okay. You know, they have specialized machines for doing this. And for a homemade effort, it's obviously gonna look a little bit different. But what it will do is you'll have the satisfaction of when you eat this to know that you made it yourself. And also anybody who else gets to eat this will immediately recognize how cool you are for being able to make your own cornflakes. I'm just gonna go ahead and collect all of this stuff in a mason jar. And as you can see, I kind of, this is kind of a small batch of this stuff. Now I have to use the small oven because it's just easier to film with. But if you wanted to use a full tray in your oven, you could easily double this recipe or maybe even more just doubling the quantity of everything without any real extra effort. Now, how did it taste? Well, it was actually really good. And normally I'm not a super huge fan of cornflakes. I always feel like it was kind of light and I don't know, it never really fills me up. It gets really soggy really quickly. But these are more hearty and they actually kind of really stay in the milk a lot longer. And I mean, this small bowl actually kind of did fill me up in the morning. So I, I do really recommend this. Now, one last question, what about frosted flakes? Well, you could use the same tactic I tried in my cinnamon toast crunch video, where you use a solution of water and sugar to spray the cereal and then toss it in some powdered sugar, and bam, you'd have some frosted flakes. However, I do think they're pretty good on their own. So, and I would really 100% recommend making these in a higher quantity than I did. So, all right, with that being said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. All right, bye.